It's time. The Guy R. Cook Report. B2B Tips Thursday. Being today's Thursday, hey, what better day to do it? We're looking at the notes, what you see over here. If you go to youtube.com, whack Guy R. Cook, you'll get to my channel. The videos there, the top one listed, once I get the edit all done, will be this one for today. And anyway, it's going to look like that right there. You go to the Guy R. Cook Report podbean.com if you just want to listen on the audio we'll have that up on podbean as soon as i get the edit done and everything revolves around the edit you get that feeling anyway we're going to go and look at the tips and as if by magic bazinga there are the show notes for today and what it says seven essential tips for getting your B2B customers online, okay? This is happening um, because we made it happen. The seven essential tips for getting B2B customers online happened as a result of doing a search for B2B tips recently posted. And we found one and let's go take a look at those. Thanks for being with us today. We sure appreciate you listening. The seven essential tips for getting your B2B customers online. And you can see it's it's from Santa Commerce. The results, this report came about because they asked over 300 B2B customers around the globe about their digital transformations. And then they combined all those results and created a 51 page report with the findings and analysis and that. So looking at it real quick, and you can go back and read this in greater detail, but I'm just gonna go through it real quick right now as part of being brief. According to the research, the top three reasons B2B customers want to access to a web store. Ease of online purchases, number one. Number two, ability to easily browse an online catalog. Number three, insight into available inventory and the delivery time for same. So maybe you'll find something that's really a great bargain, but it's coming on a slow boat from China and it'll take six weeks to get here, perhaps. So that's something to be a consideration. So the seven tips to get customers online, send an, introdu send an introduction card. Well, I wish I could talk. It'd be so much better podcast if I could talk. You can also send an email if you have the customer's email addresses. So you know that list that you've put out that's full of email addresses, send them an introduction card. They need to know a little bit more about you. Be, make yourself a little bit more transparent. And we've talked about that other times, other ways. Number two, educate your customers with how-to videos. There are gonna be times, I've, I've had it happen to me once with the digital phone, where you'll go to YouTube to find the how-to video to do, in the instance I was doing it was how to add uh, phone numbers into the speed dialer on this phone and it wasn't on there so I made it and it's been viewed all oh, 40 sometimes people around the world looking for that same how-to stimulate online shopping with special web store discounts like if you go to the online store you're gonna get maybe free shipping or maybe 20% off when you make a discount, the thing to remember is you're trying to get people to change their habit. Their habit has been traditionally to go to the store in their car, walk up and down the aisles and look at the merchandise and say, oh, I want that one. Okay. Well, you're going to do it online. 
you're going to take them onto that, excuse the expression, information highway in their digital car, their browser, and let them walk up and down the aisles of your store and look at your goods and services online. Help your customers log in. If there's any kind of a oh, self-service portal, something that needs to answer questions about invoices, inventory, and so forth, and you need to log in so they can have their personal information come up, show them how to do that, okay? Oh, and then this next one. Are you an experienced web store owner, let's hope, looking to get even more out of your online sales portal? These next tips are for you. So you've already got a store up, you've been doing it. You want to make it tweak and be a little bit better. Okay. Change the behavior. There are a lot of little things you can do to encourage your customers with their online shopping. Offering free shipping, I just said that a minute ago, orders over a certain amount. Educate your sales reps. The people that represent your brand might be the first contact that that B2B customer has with your company. So make sure that they're up to speed, that their training is complete. Don't just hand them a login and a, and a password and say, go do it, kid. You'll be great. Um, throwing them to the wolves like that doesn't generally work. Increase sales with personalized marketing. The underlying part of this post, monthly emails with discounts on frequently ordered products per customer. Make it relevant, make it personal. Make that solution be an answer to their question. If they're asking about how do I optimize the speed of my WordPress website, Give them that solution. Don't give them 20% off on rubber galoshes because they're not looking for that, okay? So conclusion, start with the strategy. That's all they said. Now, there's a, a six-step guide you can download for developing a business plan. I'd encourage you to take a look at that. I had a look, and it's pretty darn good. So let's go back to to the beginning, and this all started at this beginning where we went to from going to the guyrcookreport.podbean.com, clicking on today's link, and we got that. And another way you can get notifications, see that little blue button right there? That is from Push Crew. Push Crew is going to send out a notification once you subscribe every time that we update the notes. And so you'll know as soon as the Notes for today are available. Sometimes they're even available before they're even up on Podbean because I haven't done that edit yet. So, time for tea. I thank you for joining us today. Thank you especially to the patrons. We really appreciate your support. And so, if you like this, you can check out the other episodes of the Guy Kirk Report. And to get to the credits to do that, there's a link that says credits list is here. And if you click it, there they are. Thanks for listening is number one. Show the link for list the show notes. There's the blog. There's the link to the parent site. And maybe you'll find a solution in there under our services. The short list of the tasks that are all provided in the credits. Subscribe to the podcast on Podbean. Share it to a friend with like, comment, share topics. And YouTube and iTunes both will, will do that. The Rate the podcast on Apple Podcasts. Uh, Sam Mallory gave us a post on how to do that. There's a link right there on how to be a patron. We'd love it if you're a patron. Uh, we're talking dollar a month. Okay, we're not talking big bucks. Especially relevant, thanks to Fraser Ramsey. And if this is your first episode, you may not know the name Fraser Ramsey and why it's especially relevant. 
Well, several years ago, I think 2016, early 2016, Frazier said one Thursday afternoon, we were chatting, says, why don't you do a podcast? Well, now we know who to blame. His podcast, Hattrick and Ramsey Unleashed, is available if you go to that link that we've got there in the notes and the credits. It says fraser1.podbean.com. That'll do it. Big thanks to Eileen Smith, told us about Screencast-O-Matic. She's told us about a number of other things. She's a digital diva, not to be uh, construed as a negative thing. It's a very positive influence into live streaming. If you want to know about YouTube, about blogging, consider Eileen to be a resource. Get to her website, EileenSmith.com. It's right there in the links. And the, speaking of the links, if we scroll down just a little bit in the credits, there's two groups, Friends Just Chatting on Facebook and the Guy or Kirk Report. We put a post in, try to, every day that we're getting set to do the, uh, I guess, summation, the, the review of this content, and it'll come up in our Facebook group. So give those a look and be sure to click that top button, and that'll take you back to the top like this. And then you go here, or you can go to the tab if you're doing tab browsing. I'm a big fan of tab browsing. Anyway, thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you tomorrow, because you know what that is, Friday wrap-up, when we look at all the episodes of the week. And so, on that note, like I always say at the end of every episode, it's a wrap.